anything that will hinder you from being the star that God has ordained that you will be. Turn away from that thing. Turn away from that sin, transgression, abnormality. Turn away from them. They hinder stars from shining. Sin, the sin of the flesh. In the stars from shining, see, come on, see, fleshly see. Nothing wanted to hinder Joseph, but said, No, I'm running off, I'm moving off to being a star, and stars don't do that. Tell the Lord. Transgression, tell the Lord. I turn away from every form of transgression. Abominations. Anything abominable? In the sight of the Lord, turn away. Repent. And say, Lord, I know abominations redeem the star or kill the star I turn away I abandon I take away from my life Everything sinful. Every transgression. Everything abominable. Everything ruin us. But character will ruin you. Business will ruin you. Backsliding will ruin you. Tell the Lord, turn away from them, turn yourself away from them, and I look up to the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Savior of sinners, he'll save you. He'll forgive you. He'll make you a new creature in Christ. He puts new life, new nature into you. He'll make you a new creature in Christ. If any man be in Christ, 
He is a new creature. Old things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Hand over your life to him and say, Lord, I believe. I believe in Christ now as my Savior, as my Lord. I turn from all the sins of the past and I turn to my Savior, the power of God in man. If thou shalt believe in thine heart and confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everybody said, Heads bowed and eyes closed. You've discovered you need to turn away from everything that will destroy the star. Turn away from everything that will deem your star. And you want to come up out of that dungeon and come to the top, that the Lord himself will recreate you, remold you, and refashion you, and the sins of your life that will hinder you from getting to the right side of God. You're ready to forsake them and say, Lord, here I am. I give myself absolutely surrendered unto you. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. God bless you there. Wherever you are, you turn from every sin, you turn from every transgression, you turn from every abomination, you turn from every sin that will ruin your chances. You turn from every sin of Satan, of society, and say, Lord, absolutely, I surrender myself unto you. Take me, Lord. Take me now. Forgive me. Change my life. Turn me around. Make me a new creature in Christ. Raise up that hand. Do that right now. Lord, I turn. Lord, I repent. Lord, I give myself completely unto you. Lord, I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be my Savior. Keep up that hand and pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everyone who has turned to the Savior today, turning away from sin, Forgive them in Jesus' name. Cleanse their lives in Jesus' name. Knock out of their lives everything that will destroy their future. Make them new creatures in Christ. New man, new woman, new boy, new girl in the Lord in Jesus' name. 
Confirm that in their life. Confirm that in their life. And give them the permanent grace of God that will keep them away from everything that will destroy their stardom in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you because when it is done, in Jesus' name, we pray. Another amen. amen. A transformational amen. amen. Now, the Lord has revealed all the principles, and with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, you're going to follow those principles in the life of Samuel, in the life of Timothy. In the life of Andrew, in the life of Ruth, in the life of Saul, you say, Lord, helping me. I'm going to follow all those principles and practical things I've heard today so that I've become a star in my world. Where are you? Raise up your hand. The Lord will help you. They will follow after. And like those in Bible days became stars, and like some of us have become stars in the contemporary world, you are the next man. Yeah. You are the next woman. Yeah. You will not be a forgetful hearer. Yeah. Every day you will remember and you walk steadily. And steadfastly in the path of stardom in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you and bless you. We know you have revealed this to everyone for a purpose. And we pray the purpose of the revelation will become realization in every life. Everything that hindered us in the past, we we'll pray you clear away out of our past in Jesus' name. Yeah. The grace to become, the power to become, yeah. the strength to become, yeah. the enablement to become, yeah. the steadfastness to start in our world. Grant unto everyone. Jesus name Amen. to the boys to the girls to the men to the women to the mothers to the fathers to everyone who was hurt we pray you reproduce stardom in every life Amen. even from this moment in Jesus name Amen. thank you Lord for the answer Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen for heaven. Amen. And amen for performance. Amen. And amen for manifestation in your life. The next time I meet you, I'll meet you as a shiny star in the sky of our world. Amen. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord bless you. Revive you Amen. and make the work of your hand prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we well, thank you at this time and bless your name. A great God, a mighty God, powerful God, wonder working God. We well, pray your work in every life and raise your people up to more than they can be in Jesus' name. Amen. In our own strength, what can we do? In your strength, we can do all things you have appointed for us to do. Bless us here. 
bless your people, your ministers everywhere. And we pray, Lord, there will be unforgettable touch and transformation in every life and every ministry. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. As they say, is thunderous. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. Today, as we are coming in, and we're looking at the scriptures, leaning on the Spirit of God, that we will have strength, might, power, sustenance for the fainting minister. I pray the Lord will touch every life and turn you around in Jesus' name. Amen. Think about that. Strength. Supernatural strength. Spiritual strength for the fainting minister. You might think, I'm not fainting, but you know, it might have happened in the past. It happened to Moses. It may be happening in the present. It happened to Elijah. It might happen, who knows, in the future. And whenever it happens, if it so happens again, that there is any fainting in our heart, in our mind, on our steps, in our personality, as we minister and as we do the will of God, the work of God, anywhere we are, the Lord will strengthen you. Amen. The Lord will lift you up. And any effect of the fainting of the past, the Lord will remove it in Jesus' name. This first message we're looking at, seeking and receiving the Spirit's strength for ministry. The strength of the Spirit that we need, that we need to receive for the ministry and for the calling of God upon our lives. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 40, and I'm reading from verse 28, I say, chapter 40, verse 28, as thou not known, as thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, many, many times when we read the scriptures, we do not remember is the God of the past, the God of the present, and the God of the future. He is the everlasting God, as he was with the ministers of the past, as he was with the servants of God, 